Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So Zelda and New, what they're doing is taking the approach of giving back to the community and helping dogs. They are continually giving back. And uh, they just gave back another uh, donation to a uh, rescue. We're going to take you inside here and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So if you're unfamiliar with Zelda Inu, they are a decentralized token focused on revolutionizing crypto, first of its kind, fully transparent token. This is a charity type token helping dogs in need. If you haven't checked out their website, look at this. They're actually a partner with Wall Street Bets. That is pretty cool. But these are the actual donations that they have made uh, over time here. And uh, this is awesome to see. All right. So you can see here uh, this one here, Forget Me, Not Rescue, Pet Pal. Uh, these are all around the uh, Sarasota area down in Florida. The head dev, Vince, is from there. They have done a fantastic job. And just yesterday, check this out. Just yesterday, they had a donation. They were able to cove, uh, they were able to, uh, cove the costs to provide new kennels and animal welfare league one step closer to their new building addition for the dogs look at this seven thousand dollar donation today forty thousand dollars to date animal welfare league adoption center getting the seven thousand dollar check from zelda inu this is what helping out in the community really looks like this is what real world use case and crypto look like all right so if i go over back to the website we could read the whole white paper here and break things down We'll just dive into a couple things here. And if you're unfamiliar with Zelda and New, it is on the Binance Smart Chain. Uh, it is very, very, um, it's a very interesting looking chart, too. We're going to take you over there in just a second. Uh, it 250x at launch, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, but we're going to get over there and, and show you that here in a second. They had seven exchange listings in three months. But let me just go down here and, and talk a little bit about what they're building here. I want to go to the tokenomics. Here we go. So we got lock liquidity, 60%, uh, burn 15%, 10% for sale, uh, sale, marketing 6%, 5% dog rescues, and 4% to the team on the tokenomics side of things. Here is their roadmap. You can see here phase one uh, and phase two pretty much completed at this time, except you know hitting some big telegram numbers. Now, this project is gaining a ton of of traction they've been around for the last four months which is really good right in crypto years right uh they are still waiting to get listed on big top tier exchange but they are again listed on seven exchanges in three months now they're just getting you know ready to kind of take that next step and get on some major exchange listings so if we bounce over to their chart we could see here at 250 x at launch absolutely went parabolic uh, topped out here in early January 2022, came all the way back down, has since had a nice little pop, though. All right, look at this big day on February, and they've just been climbing and pretty much consolidating here throughout the month of March, okay? Pretty much throughout the whole month of March and basically back into mid-February, it has been sideways action. There you can see a little bit when you zoom out. That is a good-looking consolidation period. I do think they are gearing up for their next big push, okay? Uh, right now, 6,000 holders over here on the Ethereum side of things. Uh, now they do, oh no, this is, uh, they're only on Bi uh, Binance. So over 6,000 holders, $20 million market cap. Let's go over here and see what it shows on CoinGecko, just to cross-reference here. Zelda Inu. There we are. Okay. Uh, let's see what the market cap listed here is. Uh, you're getting some great volume, $1.2 million trading volume. So there's a lot of volume here with Zelda. Had a nice pop here in the last 24. Uh, what do they say is the... Hold on, here we go. Uh, circulating supply, da, da, da. valuation, $22 million market cap on the, on the fully diluted, so... Yeah. Okay. Uh, if we go to BSC scan for holders, let's see what they say. Yeah, over 6,000 addresses. So just over 6,000 holders. Uh, nice to see that on on, uh, on on their kind of slow rise. They've got a lot of room to grow, I think. And what they're doing is really cool. Obviously, helping rescues in need. I think the use case is built in. 
uh, you know, and it's also a hyper deflationary token uh, to hold as well. Uh, and, you know, you get 2% of every buy or sell is rewarded back to the holder. So you get those reflections. Uh, that's what I've got for you here. Let me know your thoughts about Zelda and new if you heard about it. This was one that kind of went under the radar for me. And by the way, I formed a partnership with Zelda and new. Uh, I did, you know, show you that up in the top corner when this video first came on. Really excited to do so. I really liked Vince and their main team. I, I'm really trying to help them get some more eyes on their project. Of course, not financial advice. You've got to make your own decision whether or not you want to invest in this project. I do think, you know, with it being right in that consolidation phase, it's not, it's not like you're buying at the tippy top of the chart, right? Uh, so that's what I've got for you here in the video. Let me know your thoughts about all this down below. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.